Welcome to Moonstone Update. I'm Mark Beshard, the Managing Editor of Moonstone Publications. Here's a look at some of the stories we covered over the past week. National Treasury provided some insight into how the regulators intend to spend the levies raised in terms of the Financial Sector and Deposit Insurance Levies Bill. In a presentation to Parliament's Standing Committee on Finance, it said the FSEAs and the Prudential Authority's levy income would increase by 290 million rand. However, the FSCA projects a shortfall in its 2022-23 financial year, which it will fund from reserves. The Taxation Laws Amendment Act of 2021 took effect last month. It introduces a number of changes to the Income Tax Act that affect individual taxpayers. One is that retirement fund members can buy different annuities. Another is that fund members who have reached retirement age can make tax-free transfers between preservation funds. On the subject of regulatory changes, online registration is open for Moonstone Compliance's Regulatory Update Workshop. This year's workshop takes the form of a webinar and will be held on the 24th of this month. Follow the link below for more information and to register. The Gauteng High Court has dismissed with costs an application by Fusion Guarantees and its directors to declare certain sections of the Financial Sector Regulation Act unconstitutional and invalid. The FSCA and Fusion have been involved in a dispute over whether it should be registered as a short-term insurer. However, the court was not asked to settle that dispute. The lawsuits over business interruption policies highlighted the need for clarity when it comes to material terms. Columnist Paul Kruger provides guidance on what brokers can do to ensure that their clients are made aware of the circumstances when benefits will not be provided, and just as importantly, that such communication is documented. 91 retained the trophy for South African Asset Manager of the Year at the Raging Bull Awards. It won the most prestigious of the 10 Raging Bull Awards for the overall risk-adjusted performance of its qualifying unit trusts to the end of 2021. Melville Douglas, the offshore investment arm of the Standard Bank Group, won the Raging Bull for Offshore Manager of the Year. Sazrio was not sure why its risk analysis program missed the warning signs of the unrest in July. This is according to the report by the expert panel into the riots. Sazria received more than 14,000 claims valued at 30 billion rand, 80% of them from KwaZulu-Natal. The report said Sazria was faced with the task of convincing reinsurers, many of which are foreign companies, to continue underwriting the risks it covers. A reminder that Moonstone Business School of Excellence is running a price match and cashback offer. If you present MBSE with a written quotation from another institution that beats its price, MBSE will not only match that price, but it will also give you 250 Rand back when you register and pay your fees. Follow the link below to find out how to participate. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, Here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery.